Hi everyone, it's Olga Azar. How are you doing? Today I want to show you Ahrefs SEO toolbar, which is a very nice, very simple and very powerful SEO extension. They like to call it a handy SEO assistant and I think this is exactly what it is. So I was able to, I once wrote an article where I think I showed my audience I shared with my audience around 78 or 80 different SEO Chrome extensions. I am also like, I have also been a very heavy Chrome extension user. As you can see, this is my Chrome. Now there are way fewer Chrome extensions that, than I used to have, but still this is a lot. And thanks to Ahrefs SEO toolbar, I was able to get rid of replace basically 12 or even more SEO tools. So let me show you like what Ahrefs SEO toolbar is about and what main features it has. So let me open my site. As an example, here is Ahrefs SEO toolbar. Let me open it and let me quickly walk you through the extension. So here are the main kind of reports it has, and there is really a lot. Many of those reports can be like, can replace multiple separate tools for those specific functionalities. So metrics, if you connect Ahrefs SEO toolbar to your Ahrefs account, you will be able to see those metrics here. And you can also activate metrics bar like here. I can make it dark, for example. And when you are visiting a site, you can see those website and page metrics like domain rating, URL rating, and like keywords, search traffic. This is super useful if you are, for example, auditing a site, doing a quick audit, something that I'm often doing, or a proposal for the client, and you want to quickly see like what's the kind of state SEO state of this website does it even rank does it even have any like keyword visibility so for those quick checks this is probably the best tool you can have so you just click here go to metrics and you can get a quick look at website metrics and if you have metrics bar then you can see those metrics right here. And of course, if you hover over one of those metrics, you will see a detailed explanation. So this is super cool. Of course, there is also Web Vitals. So if the site has enough traffic so that Core Web Vitals can be calculated, you can also see Core Web Vitals scores here. And regarding speed, this is basically the only thing that we care about. So. You can just take a quick look here. I used to have a, a separate tool, I think this one, that was showing Core Vitals, and now I don't need it. I'm not saying this is a bad tool, not at all, but I can have it all in just one tool. So this is more, I would say, useful for me. So that's about metrics. Another super useful report is content, which simply gives you the most important information about the content on the page. Again, super useful for website auditors who want to take a quick look and what's going on with the site. So meta title, meta description together with their length, dates, when the site was published, when it was modified and content, word count, which is like very often when I'm doing an audit of a, of a site or browsing it, doing manual SEO review, I want to quickly see how many words it has. And headings. If you know me a bit, you know that I am kind of a heading, an internal link kind of geek. And I always love to check headings and look for things that are done in the wrong way. And with this tool, I can do it in one click. So far, I'm also a heavy user or of Chrome web developer, but here I have it all here. So if you've been using a separate red Chrome extension for just auditing headings, you may just switch to Ahrefs SEO tool toolbar. And the best thing is that most of those features, at least the ones that are most important for SEO are totally free. So I don't see the reason why you shouldn't install and give Ahrefs SEO toolbar a try. 
The next report, indexability. For technical SEO, this is basically all you need to know when you want to like quickly take a look at the site. So canonical URL, okay, robots, you can quickly view whether the site has robots.txt, robots meta tag, so a quick look into whether the page is indexable, whether the links on it are followed or not followed, and a quick look into the sitemap and href length. So I think for each of those, you can have a separate SEO Chrome extension, but you can have it all here, everything regarding indexability. I am very often hired to, for example, quickly check why a given page or a given site isn't ranking. And unless this is like a more com complex issue, sometimes this is a very simple technical SEO issue. And very often this is there is a robots no index tag on the site or canonicals are not set up correctly. So another thing is social open graph tags. Everything you need to know is here and Twitter card. Now images. So I used to use a separate tool again, built in, built into Chrome web developer that would allow me to see all images on a page together with their alt tags, title, and here I can have it all listed here. So again, this is another thing Ahrefs SEO toolbar does for me. So alt title and the image, super useful. Finally, HTTP headers. So if you are, if you want to check whether a given page is redirected or what status code in it returns, you can, you can again use Ahrefs SEO toolbar. So let me open some page that I know is that is redirected. So for example, this is a redirected page, which I have recently redirected. Let's go to Ahrefs SEO toolbar, HTTP headers, and I can see that this page has a 301 redirect. This is the target page and it can even tell me what, what redirects it. So for example, this was, I think an auto redirect created by rank math. So here I can even see that super useful and I can see the content length in characters as well. So, so again, super useful. Another thing, I used to use a separate tool called the Backlink Broken Links Checker, I think. This is the tool. I don't want to click it because if I click it, it will go through each page and click everything. And for example, if you are logged into WordPress and you do that because you're writing in your article and you want to check whether those specific links you put are correct, if you click that, then this tool will click everything in WordPress, will log you out and will trash the post you are writing. So some of those tools don't work the way we would like them to work, but here it works as it should work. So on outgoing links, it will show you all the links on a given page together with uh, whether they are followed or no followed. So super useful. And you can also click highlight and it will quickly highlight all the links on a site. So on a page, so super useful. Again, kudos to Ahrefs for creating that. Another one, which I used to have a separate tool for, let me check which one was it. I used to use a separate tool, user agent switcher. So a separate tool to switch user agents. So now I don't need to do that because I have user agent switcher here. So I just click this and then I choose what user agent I want to use. iPad, for example, like anything I want, Safari, iPad, and I can simply view it as through that user agent. So super useful. Again, I know I'm saying super useful so many times, but that's what it is. Metrics bar, I think I have showed this to you and SERP tools. So this is super, super important. If you have been using CDN so far, which I also have, I think two CDNs installed, you don't need to do that because you can now see the SERP results from different countries, from different languages. So you can use United States, Google.com, 
image and device and you can easily see how a given site ranks in that specific region and if you have Ahrefs account you can also see those things as well. So let me do a quick search for I think my favorite keyword which is SEO, SEO audit of course. SEO audit and I have this user agents agent switched so let me switch to a default one okay and as you can see I can see the volume clicks CPC all that information I can also see keyword ideas I can save those URLs I can export the keywords to CSV and if I want to see results for a specific country in Ahrefs I had United States set up I just click this and now I can see what features are available in the US versus what's available in Australia, for example. So if you want to like quickly be able to review search results, SERP, what it looks like, this is again the tool to use. And it is again one of the very many features that Ahrefs SEO toolbar has. And there is also this option to suggest feature and I just before I clicked on that I thought that I probably want Ahrefs to add the structured data because this is I think something that's missing here the most and as you can see structured data is in progress. So this is really cool because you can simply say what you think the tool is missing and Ahrefs will simply add that feature if enough I think people think that this is the feature they want. So thanks to Ahrefs SEO toolbar, I can now get rid of at least those Chrome extensions. There, I had more of them. I have already got rid of them, but for example, this is user, user agent switcher. So remove from Chrome, I can easily do that. Touch VPN, remove from Chrome, change geolocation, I can remove it and I think the one I want to remove the most is broken link checker because it, it can mess up with your site if you are logged into WordPress for example. So remove from Chrome. Core Web Vitals the same, I can get rid of that and then so on. Link redirect trace, I like this one, maybe I will keep it. But I'm not saying that the tools I have just, the Chrome extensions I have just deleted are bad, but I am, as I said, as I mentioned, I think I am a minimalist and I like to keep things simple and those and Ahrefs SEO toolbar lets me achieve do many things at one time. So it is super useful for me as an SEO who like checks all those things on many websites every day a couple of times I don't know 50 times per day. So that's all from me. What I recommend you do right now is go ahead and install Ahrefs SEO toolbar. You can just go to ahrefs.com SEO toolbar, download for Chrome or Firefox if you're using Firefox and start playing with that tool because even if you are not Ahrefs user, you will still get most of the features and the best features there for free. So I hope you like this video and see you in the next one. Bye bye.